Hey everyone, I'm Freezing, and welcome to Muggle Magic. As you can see, I'm away from home for the weekend again, but I wanted to get a video out to you guys anyway. I remembered my camera, but I totally forgot my microphone, so if the audio doesn't sound as good in this video, that's why. I'm just using the uh, built-in microphone on my cell phone to record the audio right now. If you're new to the channel, I host uh, weekly giveaways pretty much for anything that I make on the channel. And I'm also giving away one of my Marauder's maps once my uh, channel hits 5,000 subscribers. We're almost there, and this is the map with the hidden footprints and the reversible cover. And I will leave a link to all of my giveaways that are currently going on in the description box below. As I said, I'm away from home, so this video is going to be short and sweet. No pun intended. Or maybe it was. The butterbeer recipe that I'm doing in this video is super easy. It only has like two ingredients. It's basically just a butterbeer float, but it is so good and I wanted to share it with you. Also, if you need to make your own butterbeer glass, there is a download link to the labels in the description box below. But everything in this video is extremely easy. So I'm just gonna go over how to make the uh, butterbeer glass really quick and then we'll do the recipe. So yeah, go ahead and uh, download the template in the description box below and let's get started. So first off, to make the glass, all you really need to do is print these labels on sticker paper or some type of paper you can uh, stick onto a glass. Uh, find the right shape of glass. I got my glasses at Goodwill and there was like eight of them and they all looked like this and it was pretty much perfect for butterbeer. Go ahead and stick the labels onto your glasses and you're pretty much done. If you need to kind of protect them a little bit, you could use some Mod Podge just to coat the outside of it so that if you do end up getting little drips of water, it's gonna seal it and kind of uh, protect it a little bit. But I'm gonna be using uh, my glass from the Wizarding World of Harry Potter. We need a uh, cream soda. So go ahead and pour your cream soda into your butterbeer glass about halfway. And the reason we're only doing halfway is because as soon as we put the ice cream in, and this is Southern Butter Pecan ice cream, as soon as we put this in, it's going to fizz up quite a bit. So get yourself a big scoop of ice cream and put it right on top. And there we go. That is how you make a very easy homemade butterbeer float. For the giveaway for this video, I can't really mail you ice cream. I guess I could send the cream soda, but you could easily pick that up on your own, plus the shipping would be extremely expensive. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to print a sheet of the butterbeer labels on sticker paper, and the winner's gonna get these butterbeer labels. If you'd like to enter the giveaway, go ahead and click the link in the description box below to the weekly giveaway. At the time of recording this video, the Howler giveaway is still going on, so the link to that giveaway is also in the description box. All right, that's it for today. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.